Today, we're talking about the symptoms of kidney failure. This is so important because this is such a serious condition. If not treated, kidney failure leads to death. And kidney failure is the most severe stage of chronic kidney disease. I'm going to sort of break that down a little bit. I also have some videos on chronic kidney disease that I'll make sure I link here. But this is the thing. Kidney failure is when your kidneys, whether it's abruptly or have happened over a long period of time, stop working. But the kidneys are incredibly important. One of the most important organs in our body. You know why? Because kidneys filter out waste. That's right. They remove toxins. So when we talk about detoxes and stuff like that, you know, I'm always saying you don't need a detox. You have organs for that. Kidneys are one of the organs that remove waste and toxins from our body. What do they do? Um, it removes uh, minerals and excess fluid and other waste uh, from our blood. It cleans our blood. Um, kidneys also generate and make hormones that deal with really important things in our body, such as our blood pressure and so many other things. The kidneys are involved with our blood levels. You might be surprised at how many things the kidneys play a role in, which is why kidney failure is one of the biggest deals out there in terms of in terms of medical conditions. First thing before I tell you the symptoms, I do want to tell you, because you may be wondering, I know I'm making this sound really sort of dramatic, and kidney failure, it is dramatic. But there are ways to know what your kidney function is. I'm going to tell you this right now, okay? Your doctor, if you've been seeing your doctor regularly, chances are they've been getting your kidney function numbers. That includes something called an EGFR, and a creatinine and a BUN and perhaps other readings as well. If your doctor has not discussed what those readings are, the sort of the readings you are getting and where you are on sort of your, in your kidney health, then you need to ask your doctor the next time you see them in the office. Again, I'm going to repeat those. That's EGFR, glomerular filtration rate. That's creatinine and that's BUN, okay? Those are lab tests that we often get quite routinely and that gives us a sense of how our kidneys are doing, all right? Now, also before I get to the symptoms, let me tell you, I, and I mentioned this in the beginning, that if kidney failure is not treated, it will lead to death. And that is the truth. But there are treatments for kidney failure that is either dialysis or transplant. But the idea is we don't want you going in that direction at all. So let's go back now and talk about the symptoms of kidney failure. Now, remember when I talk about kidney failure, I'm talking about the end stage function of your kidneys. This is not sort of beginning stage kidney damage. This is in stage kidney damage. This is when your kidneys are failing. There is a long potential road between kidney damage and kidney failure, which can happen over a long period of time or a short period of time. And by the way, the most common causes of kidney failure are diabetes and hypertension. It's one of the reasons why we doctors want you to treat your diabetes and hypertension, because if you don't, you can end up with kidney failure. Okay. I hope you guys don't complain about how long it's taken me to get there. I thought this stuff was really, really important, so don't be mad at me, okay, I promise. Let's get to the symptoms. Symptoms of kidney failure. First of all, and no particular order, decreased urine output. What does that mean? It means you don't pee a lot, right? Because remember, the kidneys get rid of waste from the blood, you pee it out. And so when your kidneys are not working, it's not, your kidneys may not be making urine to remove that waste. So oftentimes people have decreased urine. They're not peeing a lot. They also tend to get a retention of fluid. They get excess fluid in their body, in their legs, around their heart, and other places. They get swollen. The other thing, though, is with all of this, because you need your kidneys, your kidneys are like an engine in your body, you need them to work, you'll get fatigued if you're in kidney failure or approaching that. Some people get confused. They get sort of disoriented because, remember, without your kidneys, you're not removing toxins. Those toxins are building up and maybe causing you to feel confused, etc. There also can be nausea. This also has to do with the toxins and so many other things. Your kidney is not working. Belly pain, abdominal pain can come with it. Weakness, okay, along with the fatigue. Irregular heartbeat, itching. This is interesting, and this tends to be due to, say, a buildup of sort of toxins and things like that. Itching can come along with it. Loss of appetite, chest pain, even seizures. You see how sort of wide-ranging the symptoms of kidney failure are? The kidney literally 
um, sort of has an impact in almost every system in our body because the kidney not only removes waste, as I discussed, but also, you know, makes hormones and does other things. This is why you need to take care of your kidneys. I have another video on how to take care of your kidneys. I'll make sure I link it here. But this is the thing. The other way to take care of your kidneys is to treat your diabetes and your high blood pressure and other underlying conditions that may be contributing to it. Now, sometimes we have underlying issues, whether they're genetic or acquired, that we can't do much about that are contributing to kidney failure. The most important thing we can do, though, is seeing our doctor, getting our labs checked, and making sure we know what the numbers are and knowing what we can do to protect the kidneys. I have a video on things that can damage the kidneys, things we do in our everyday life, medications we take, etc. So know those as well. Just know that you can know what's going on. Talk to your doctor about your kidney numbers. Hey, doc, how is my kidney? What kidney stage? Am I in chronic kidney disease? What stage am I? What do I need to do? Have these conversations. Guys, I hope this is helpful. I'll link some of my other kidney videos here. Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Also, I'm on LinkedIn, WhatsApp, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, you name it. Well, this is YouTube. <laughs> um, and so many others. Um, please make sure that you follow me on all platforms. Also, go to my website, drjencottle.com to sign up for my free weekly health newsletter.